A dermoid cyst, which is a mature cystic teratoma, has typically the following features which are seen on ultrasound. It has mixed echogenicity and contains fat, hair, teeth and other tissues leading to a combination of hyperequic bright and hypoequic dark areas. Echogenic foci with acoustic shadowing is seen. A solid echogenic area with posterior shadowing often due to fat, hair or calcifications which are teeth or bone. Fat fluid or hair fluid levels are also visualized. A layering effect is seen in some cases when the cyst contains both fat and fluid components. Tip of iceberg sign. Highly echogenic interior portion with posterior acoustic shadowing making deeper structures difficult to visualize. Internal echogenic strands of floating balls are also noticed, which are hair and sebum and can appear as echogenic strands within the cyst. It is normally a well-defined thin wall cyst and is usually circumscribed with thin wall unless complications like rupture or infection have occurred. No vascularity on Doppler imaging can be seen. Unlike malignant ovarian masses, dermoid usually shows no significant internal blood flow. Additional imaging may be advised like CT or MRI. They can help confirm fat content, calcifications and soft tissue components, especially if malignancy is suspected. A dermoid cyst is a benign tumour that most commonly occurs in the ovaries but can also develop in other parts of the body. It is a type of germ cell tumour that arises from embryonic cells and contains a mix of tissues. They are located most commonly in the ovaries but can also occur in face, neck, spine or brain. Usually it is slow growing and asymptomatic. It may cause abdominal pain, bloating or pressure if it is large in size. It can also lead to ovarian torsion which is a medical emergency. How do we diagnose a dermoid cyst? Basically, ultrasound is the key method to diagnose the cyst as it is seen as a complex mass with echogenic areas, fat fluid levels or calcifications. Let's discuss the treatment of dermoid cysts. Observation for small asymptomatic cysts is advised. Laparoscopic cystectomy for larger or, or symptomatic cysts laparoscopic cystectomy for larger or symptomatic cyst, oophorectomy which is removal of ovary in postmenopausal women or suspected malignancy. Normally, cysts smaller than 5 cm are asymptomatic in young women and can be modeled with follow-up ultrasound every 6 to 12 months. If the cyst remains stable, no immediate intervention is needed. If it grows or causes symptoms, surgery is recommended. Surgery is also required in cases of persistent pain, bloating or pressure symptoms or in cases where ovarian torsion occurs. There are three types of surgeries that can be conducted for the removal of dermoid cyst. Laparoscopic cystectomy. This is preferred in younger patients to preserve fertility. Only the cyst is removed leaving the ovary intact. Shorter recovery time and minimal scarring is seen in such surgeries. Liprotomy. This is open surgery and is used for very large cysts or if malignancy is suspected. This requires a larger incision and a longer recovery. Oophorectomy, which is the removal of ovary. This is recommended in postmenopausal women or if the ovary is severely damaged. This can be unilateral, only one ovary is removed or bilateral if both ovaries are affected. In cases of emergencies, when ovarian torsion occurs in dermoid cyst, immediate surgery is required to untwist the ovary and restore the blood flow. If the ovary is necrotic, oophorectomy may be necessary. Post-surgical care and follow-up is advised in cases of all these surgeries. Please remember to like, share and follow the channel. Thank you.